walls to call mine And all I need is someone Who will make it look right Make it stand up high I think it's fantastic. I, the, I think the first thing that I had when I walked in today was octopus because, you know, that's what you're here for. It's to try different things, see different things, smell different things. It's just different foods from pretty much all over the world here, and it's perfect. Today, I found Devonshire grown tea. Beautiful and a quality, which is going to be soon featured on my menu. I found a wonderful wild sausage, sausage, which I will be on my charcuterie place. Okay, I found a wonderful cheddar grower. Okay, so it's the son of Patrick Holden, but nevertheless, he does a bloody good cheddar, which I'm going to taste to put on my menu. If I had not come here today, I wouldn't have that. We've always enjoyed the Real Food Festival. We've been every year since they started, and we just like it as a show. It's a great environment. It's a nice location. The people that come, we've always found to be very enjoyable to speak with, both consumers and trade. Uh, and we just like the event and how it's run. Very important for small producers, particularly important, I think, for us coming from Jersey, um, to try our products out to a UK audience. Well, I should say, actually, a, a multicultural audience. We've had many different countries here trying the products. Um, an opportunity to see what they think of them and get an honest response from people who clearly by attending the show have a passion and, and an interest in food. And that's been very useful. It appealed to us because A, it's the Real Food Festival and B, uh, you've got consumers and you've got trade as well so you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. It's been really, really good. Actually, we've been very, very busy. So today we've got a Mad Hatter's Tea Party with the Mad Hatter here and we'll be serving tea all day, over 3,000 cups of tea today, and it's the first time for over 60 years that it's been a, done with loose tea, not tea bags. Well, you can see it's heaving. I mean, huge success. So as a festival, it's fantastic. There's nothing quite like it, in fact. Where better to bring a product than the Real Food Festival? Well, they love tea, so they love this tea party, and it's just such a brilliant thing. We've had absolutely no negative response. Everybody has been blown away. I'm building up a house to call my all I need is someone who will make it We're here at the show showcasing our Great Taste Awards, which is the country's leading food awards. I'm also here introducing Feed the Dragon, where five uh, unsuspecting food producers pitch their wares to a panel of expert retail buyers. I um, came last year to, um, to have a look um, and I thought it was a really nice show. Um, there's a good feeling about it, I, I really like it. It's been really good. It's been really good. It's been very busy. I'm sure I will be using you in these four walls. Tell me just how I'm supposed to go. So to come here and to talk to people is quite important and to see people getting excited about food is quite nice, isn't it? It's a very nice thing. It's all about small producers and so you've got you know, the little cordial maker from Devon, you've got, you've got everyone small you know, with their thing, it might be cottage industry, it might be slightly larger, but all passionate people like myself doing, you know, producing their own passionate uh, food product. Yeah, I've tasted a few new products that I wasn't aware of before. Uh, from cheeses through to chutneys, and uh, I shall be uh, dropping the lines uh, to the producers when I when I get back to the office tomorrow. In my car, in all that I can hope is your direction, your stone hard to break, hard to mold. But I'm sure I will be using you in these four. I think it's very important to give the consumers uh, an opportunity to come out and try these products that otherwise they'd have no chance of seeing in any of the big multiples. Um, so hopefully it helps to, to widen the distribution of those products, um, either through mail order or through the fine food stores. 
it's nice to go out to different parts of the country and see the producers, but you know, having something here in London means that you can get around uh, and see uh, dozens, if not you know, almost hundreds of uh, small artisan producers in one place, rather than spending an awful lot of time travelling around trying to find products. So yeah, it's important. We've had a very good few days, um, we've met some really interesting people and uh, a lot of people have come up and certainly said to us that we've got wonderful products. I think it's interesting, we've enjoyed being here and I know the punters have really enjoyed the experience so far so we're delighted to be part of the South West team and we're delighted to be at the Real, Real Food Show. Everybody loves it and it's very useful, very important, very important. I can to make it worth a while. The breads have been absolutely knockout. The, the different types of bakeries joined the vegetable, box, the vegetable scheme. box scheme. It's been brilliant. It's been excellent. We could do with it in Bristol rather yes. than London. Please. <laughs> but it's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm not going to tell you how much I've spent. Oh, it's loads. I've bought plenty. Lots. I've bought coffee, I've bought chutneys, pickles, cakes. Yeah, really loved it. Here, because it's a foodie show, everybody is very interested in everything that's connected with food. Absolutely outstanding show.